Pelvic tilt can be a big factor when it comes to posture, and the big culprit that a lot of people point to is anterior pelvic tilt. So we're gonna talk about what the hell is anterior pelvic tilt, and how important is it really when it comes to posture. So I think the easiest way to think about it is think of your pelvis as a bowl, like this. So this bowl can roll forward, or it can roll backward. So if this bowl rolls backward, we call that a posterior pelvic tilt. And this will make sense in just a second. Now if we roll the bowl forward, we call that an anterior pelvic tilt. Now your hips move in exactly the same way, or your pelvis rather. So your pelvis can roll forward, and we call that an anterior pelvic tilt, or it can roll backward, which we call a posterior pelvic tilt. If your pelvis rolls forward into an anterior pelvic tilt, it creates a concave curve in your spine. But if we look at a normal spine model, there is naturally a concave curve in the low back. And so technically, you have a natural resting anterior pelvic tilt. So the problem really is if you get into too much of an anterior pelvic tilt. This is that Kim Kardashian effect. So being in that position for a short period of time isn't really an issue, but if you're in that position for a long period of time, then that's where it can cause a problem when it comes to posture. So how do you know if you have too much anterior pelvic tilt? And I think the simplest way to go about doing it is to stand sideways to a full length mirror so that you can see your hips. Roll up your shirt so that it goes up past your belly button so you can clearly see your hips and just stand in a normal neutral posture and just sort of observe the position of your hips as you do that. Once you do that, try to tilt your pelvis forward so get into an anterior pelvic tilt. Now if you find you can't really do that, then that's a sign that you probably have too much anterior pelvic tilt. Now, if you're able to do it and you're able to exaggerate that pelvic tilt, then your normal natural position is probably okay. If you find that you're unable to get into an anterior pelvic tilt because it's already too forward, then a good way to find a neutral balance is to try to get into a posterior pelvic tilt. So by do, do this by squeezing your glutes so that you're rolling your pelvis back. And then once you get into that position, see if you can just back off about 50% so that you're halfway between that starting position and that fully butt clenched posterior pelvic tilt. And that at least would get you in a pretty good neutral position as far as pelvic tilt goes. And it may feel kind of uncomfortable to be in that neutral position, but my advice to you is to just try that, try getting into that position several times a day, five to 10 times a day, and just sort of staying in that position for half a minute, just so you can get used to it. And not only that, so you can actually feel what it feels like to be in that neutral position. As you become more comfortable with that neutral spine position, one other thing that you can try is exercises to keep you from getting into that excessive anterior pelvic tilt. And that is exactly what we cover in this video here. So be sure to check that out uh, because it has a few uh, amazing exercises to help with addressing that anterior pelvic tilt. And until next time, I will see you in the next video.